Shaw from Birchy Bay, Newfoundland. I hope your long weekend looks like this with Nook of the Dog. Um, but I'm afraid not everybody's going to be seeing such calm waters and calm conditions. Kasia Badorka with you here with a look at your long range. We begin in the east where there's going to be not one but two areas of low pressure merging as early as Sunday. So we will be seeing some spotty showers along this front Sunday, uh, but not a whole lot. It begins to really ramp up once we start to see this low coming in from the Atlantic. So Monday into Tuesday and it lasts into Wednesday as well. So relatively unsettled right across the Atlantic. Now the next seven days look like this for you if you live in Halifax I'm afraid rain more rain rain I don't want to keep going with that but hey uh, look at the bright side is that Sunday shouldn't be too bad we've got a mix of sun and clouds clouds with a chance of showers in Huntsville and then Monday will be better with uh, daytime highs closer to 20 degrees the long range for this area though first I want to take your attention to that low in the prairies that's just going to be making its way further east high pressure for some time in southern Ontario your prairie low makes its way into Ontario come Tuesday, Tuesday night into Wednesday, that's when it moves into southern Ontario and rain showers. You betcha. We have that in the forecast. We do have a lot of unsettled weather in southern parts of BC and it is crossing the Lee. It is crossing the Rockies, I should say. So we do have unsettled conditions throughout the south really for the next few days as well. We do have a risk of some showers, some uh, thunder showers, I should say, also this evening through the foothills. So just a heads up there. And then eventually for the work week, midweek, not too bad at all. We're, we'll be seeing some sunshine and warmer conditions as well. Vancouver, you've got seasonal conditions, but I'm afraid it's very unsettled. Very unsettled in Tornado Alley as well. Please stay with us for updates from Storm Hunters. Visit our new and uh, The skies didn't look too bad. We do have a surface high, but an upper level low. So we do have a chance, a risk of some spotty showers today, tomorrow as well. Kasia Badurka with you here. Hope you're enjoying the long weekend so far. It kicked off on a cool note though, right? These are our daytime highs yesterday, well below seasonal, right? And how cool was this? Not in a cool, neat kind of way. Cool as in temperatures were really cool. Uh, it was only about two degrees in the city of Toronto. Uh, not so bad though in the nation's capital at 6.7, but still for this time of year, I was freezing. I was at Georgian Bay freezing cold uh, yesterday morning. Meanwhile, through the overnight, expect another really cool evening. In fact, we do have a frost advisory in effect for much of southern eastern Ontario as well as parts of Quebec. But we are seeing the yellows. So throughout the day tomorrow, as well as the next day, getting much warmer. So enjoy. Not too bad. I want to take you now to beautiful High Park in Toronto, uh, where I was hanging out back on Thursday. Those cherry blossoms affected by the polar vortex, not seeing active weather until your Tuesday. Enjoy. Kingston, Ontario. Who knew? Congratulations. Here's something to smile about. Your Sunday, sun and clouds, temperature is comfortable. Not necessarily Monday through Wednesday, though. Mm. So we do have an upper level low in southern Ontario and eastern Ontario. A risk of some spotty showers here and there, but temperature is getting a little bit warmer throughout the day with daytime highs getting closer to the mid-teens, even closer to 20 degrees come Monday. And we do have some chilly temperatures through the overnight. We have our storm hunters south of the border. They are in El Reno now. Have a look. Ah, high pressure. Something we all hope for, right? When we're heading to cottage country for a long weekend, the mass exodus yesterday. Uh, the skies didn't look too bad. We do have a surface high, but an upper level low. So we do have a chance, a risk of some spotty showers today, tomorrow as well. Kasia Badurka with you here. Hope you're enjoying the long weekend so far. It kicked off on a cool note though, right? These are our daytime highs yesterday. Well below seasonal, right? And how cool was this? Not in a cool, neat kind of way. Cool as in temperatures were really cool. Uh, it was only about two degrees in the city of Toronto. Uh, not so bad though in the nation's capital at 6.7, but still for this time of year, I was freezing. I was at Georgian Bay freezing cold uh, yesterday morning. Meanwhile, through the overnight, expect another really cool evening. In fact, we do have a frost advisory in effect for much of southern eastern Ontario as well as parts of Quebec. But we are seeing the yellows. So throughout the day tomorrow, as well as the next day, getting much warmer. So enjoy. Not too bad. I want to take you now 